everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I upload twice a week. On Wednesdays, I have beauty fashion and lifestyle videos. And then every other Sunday is a mystery video alternating with other beauty fashion videos. So yeah, if you like that sort of thing, then definitely subscribe. Today, I am bringing you my big, huge back to uni Primark haul. I asked on Twitter whether you guys wanted to see this first or my uni homeware haul and this one. So the homeware haul is coming next Wednesday. This is very big. I have three of the big bags, like three huge bags. They are full of things to show you. There's a bit of everything in here. So I'm just going to get started because um, there's a lot to go. First thing I'm going to show you is this. This is my pop-up storage bin that's going to be mine and Harry's washing basket for our room when we move into the house. I'm moving on Saturday after you see this video. So um, most like most of the homeware stuff, all the homeware stuff will just be sort of for that that purpose when we move into our house because if you didn't know I'm in my second year at uni now and we're moving into a shared house. This one is the marble print one. It was £3.50. I did initially intend to get either a white one or a light grey one. They didn't have either of those so I thought this was a nice medium and you can't really go wrong with a bit of marble. So that's just going to do for um, washing. Okay so I bought this jumper in the sale. It was reduced from £10 to £5 but I'm not sure about it. I have kept the tag on just in case because I'm still unsure. I pre-filmed a video for two mystery videos time so in three weeks, Sundays yeah. <laughs> um, I wore it in the video because I wanted to sort of see what it looked like on and I'm still not sure about it so I think I might go and take it back and exchange it but it's this black and white striped ripped jumper it's a really soft material like it's really nicely made it's really comfy um i'm just not sure about the thick bands of black and white stripes i'm a huge stripe person i like my sort of thin stripes but i'm just not i'm just not sure i can pull this off and the rips are kind of in weird places as well like it kind of shows off your bra a bit and i don't know it's cute um i'm just not sure if i can pull it off so that is a maybe i bought two of these tops the other one is in one of the bags somewhere so i'll show you that a bit later but these um this is a super basic top that's in one of their sort of basic folded stand areas it was six pounds and i feel like everyone's gonna be like are wearing loads of these because they have them in every colour imaginable. They're really well made, they have something similar last year but this is definitely a nicer quality, they're really better made and the material is a lot softer so £6, it's like a, a ribbed fitted long sleeved mock neck jumper top, it's like a thin uh, knitted top basically. I got it in black um, for £6, it's a really really nice basic staple to have in your wardrobe for this sort of coming season. I wore this the other day with a little denim skirt and it looked so cute so uh, I think I may have to go back and buy some of the more colourful ones because I've got the neutrals. <laughs> I got this cup which I posted on my Instagram because I'm in love with it. It was £3.50 and it's huge. I don't know how well you can tell the size but it is like big. It's just one of these sort of water cup things with a straw. Um, it's black and it says not interested and when you shake it all this glitter moves about I just thought this was so cute for £3.50 I'm gonna get so much use out of this the sensible option would be to say um, that I was gonna use this for water but I just think in reality most of the time at uni I'm running about and I don't really want to chuck this in my bag because I know water's gonna go everywhere so I'd rather invest in like a swell water bottle for in my bag so this is gonna be for I think pre-drinking in my flat or in my house with my uni mates so that's probably the reality of what this cup is going to be used for but it's like an amazing size they have so many cute ones and i just this one was very me <laughs> looking down at sort of the pile of things i've got to show you it's all very monochrome okay so i got three of their reed diffusers from their home range i have this one here this was three pounds it's like the bigger one this scent is in number four sea salt and lavender i got the harry's approval on this one because this will be going in our shared room if you haven't watched any of my other uni videos or anything, go watch them for some more information on sort of my situation. Basically, me and Harry are moving into this um, this house for uni. There's nine of us, and every couple gets two rooms: a larger double and then a single. And um, the single for me and Harry is just going to kind of be a storage room. So this one is the one that's going to go in our main double room. So obviously, I wanted to get his approval on it. So yeah, that was three pounds. And then I got two of these. These are the miniature one pound ones. I got this one in number 17, Madagascan Villa. And I have one on my window still in here at the moment and it's great for one pound. I was so impressed with the quality of it. So this is gonna go in our little single room because we're not really gonna be in there much. It's mostly for storage and for when like friends come up and stay. I don't have any bedding from Primark this year. Um, usually I like bulk buy Primark bedding because I love it. I went in search for this specific Primark bedding. They didn't have it anywhere so I bought it somewhere else. But I do have cushions. I bought a set of two cream cushions for £6. They have these in every colour imaginable. And if you want to see sort of the moving in process this weekend and the following weeks, I 
do weekly vlogs on my second channel so go check that out and yeah they're really soft so you can't really go wrong i got three of their really basic um pants these are just the really really basic thongs that like everyone has you can buy them in sets of three for three pounds or individually for one pound so that's what i did i already have a few of the sets and i'm not really a huge like neon color <laughs> set person so i just picked up a few of the indiv individual neutral colors so this is gray then i got a black pair and then a white pair so Yep, they're just super basic. Like I said, everyone's got those and you can't really go wrong with the quality of these. I have loads. So I actually picked up my new uni bag from Primark and I am so happy with it. Basically, when I went into Primark, I knew I wanted to get a bag from there because I just, I never invest in bags because I always destroy them. I'm always out and about and carry loads in them. So I always get like weather damaged or just the handle stuff or something. So I never spend loads of money and I can just repurchase them. So I wanted a bag that was, if this makes sense, rectangular, obviously, but I wanted it to be more vertical rectangular, like taller rather than sort of horizontal wider. So the one I put my laptop, my notebooks in it, they're not lying sideways, they're standing upwards. I just think, I just prefer it. I just find it a lot easier to slide things in and out that way. I found this one, this was 12 pounds and it's a really nice structured black bag. It comes with a little black fluffy keyring, which is obviously essential. There's a little zip on top and it's really nice sort of size, it's not too big and it's not too small. It's got little handles and then a long one, which I'll be using. So yeah, for 12 pounds, that's just gonna look really cute. Can't really complain with that. I will be doing a what's in my uni bag in a couple of weeks once I've settled in and my lectures and things have started up again. So I've got this stripy t-shirt on one of their, um, another one of their like basic folded stands. This style top is the stretch scoop top. I think it was something ridiculous like £2.50 or something like that. Um, it's just navy and white striped, long sleeve. I thought it was just a nice staple to have. It'll look really nice tucked into mum jeans or a little denim skirt or even just to layer. So I went into Primark intending to find some mum jeans because I really wanted a light light wash pair of jeans and I don't have any mum jeans and I know I'd wear them so I wanted to try and find a nice pair. Um, I bought these in the Tottenham Court Road Primark and it was a little bit hectic in there. Um, the jeans weren't very organised because obviously it's always quite busy so I could only find one pair um, and they were these. These are like just light wash and then they've got a rip in the knee. I really really like these. The size perfect and everything. They were £15. The only issue is I think I need to exchange these um, next time I go into Primark for ones that aren't ripped just because I have such long legs I usually have to buy 32 or 34 inch leg jeans and these are like a set um, length they are not like they're sort of folded up jeans so where I put them on they fall a nice length like they're just slightly sort of ankle grazes but the the rips in the knees come way above my knees because they're just my legs are too long so they come like halfway down my thighs so it doesn't look right so I'm just gonna have to buy a pair that aren't ripped so I'm just going to investigate some non-ripped ones and exchange these for them. I of course had to get two of the 50p packs of the round cosmetic pads just to remove my makeup. I'm going to chuck these in one of my uni boxes so I don't use them now so that when I get there I am prepared because you never really want to run out of these. I bought a pack of three silver over the door hooks, these were £2. I just thought these would be a really good idea to either hang on um, my, our double room or the single room on just the back of the door we have a lot, well I have a lot of jackets and coats and they take up so much room in a wardrobe so when you're having like a uni wardrobe and you want to save space these are a really good idea just because the bulky items like coats and things don't have to take up space in your wardrobe so two pounds it was loads of them but obviously you know me silver so yeah these are just going to go on a door somewhere okay, so this is the other ribbed mock neck top I got I just got a cream one like I said it was six pounds um, I had to get a 10 because I didn't have anything smaller but they are pretty fitted anyway and they're just really soft so like I said probably going to have to go and get some other colours in these even though there aren't any other neutral colours but I should probably venture out and get a little bit more colour in my life. I went into the men's section with my brother and uh, we literally sort of went a bit mad on the basic men's tees. Now I get a bit funny with Primark basic tees in the women's section because I always think they're just a funny material, they're usually quite see-through, they're a little bit more expensive, they're usually around £4 which I know doesn't sound a lot but they're not great quality, they, they rip quite easily and they're a weird fit, I don't know, I'm just not a huge fan of them. So I went into the men's section and they had uh, like three stands of different colours of men's tees for 50 50p for two pounds each. I got this white one. Um, I get an immense small, look. Um, I think one of these is like a large because I wanted it to be baggy so I can tuck it in. But they're great. If you're looking for just basic t shirts, check the men's section. I also got just a black one, a grey one, obviously just sticking with the neutral colour theme. And then I ventured out a bit and got the most colourful item in this haul and got this orange colour because I thought it was really nice. It's kind of like a muted 
slightly burnt orange colour and I just think that would look really nice with some mum jeans. They're great to layer so can't really complain about those. I've got this really random um, graphic tee from the women's section again from one of the folded uh, basics bit. Uh, this is just printed tee. It was £2.50. I don't know why I liked it so much. I just thought it looked sort of something that I'd buy in like Bershka or something. Um, it's white and it just says New York Manhattan. So again, just this would be like uni fashion, just lazy, comfy clothes with like some jeans and a jacket. So yeah, that was £2.50. So I bought another pair of jeans. My usual jeans, I usually just buy the super waist, super high waist, super skinny in um, 32 or 34 inch leg bending. They're like £7. I couldn't find any in my leg length. Literally, they only had like, I think it was 28 inch leg. So there was no way they were going to fit me. Um, so I found these instead. These were £10 and they are super high waist skinny again, but these ones are just black and they've got rips all down them. I haven't worn ripped jeans in ages so I thought it'd be fun to experiment with and they fit great so I'm really excited to wear these. I love, love, love Primark jeans. You really can't go wrong. As soon as they fade or rip too much or something, you can literally just repurchase these because they're so affordable. Okay, right, we're nearly there. Last things I have to show you are here. So I'm going to start off with the baskets because I'm in love with these. I've seen loads of people hauling these but in like a rose gold colour so I, was, I wasn't expecting to find these. Um, these were three pounds each and they are just a white wire basket and I was like, I was in heaven when I saw these. I wanted to buy more but I thought I'd refrain and just buy two. I'm thinking these are just gonna sit like, my or maybe like one of my desk shelves or something. I could put some skincare in one and some like station bits in the other, I don't know yet. But I just think these are gonna look so cute even just in the bathroom or anywhere really. Um, I just fell in love with these. Three pounds, you can't really go wrong. And they have copper ones, like I said, and I think they might do another color, but they're the only ones I've seen. The last things I have to show you are inside this basket. So as you guys will know, if you've watched my recent videos, I started doing my own acrylics. So I just basically just taught myself how to do what you get done in the salon when you get your nails done. But I started running out of some of the products. So I decided just to go back to wearing my favorite Primark press on nails, just because I know going into uni, I'm not gonna have as much time just to sit and do my nails like actual acrylics because they're quite, they take quite a while to do. So I went in there and sort of bulked up on a few pairs of their Primark nails because they are so affordable. So first up I have the round Frenchy style. I've only ever seen the Frenchy, which are just French tip ones, in a square shape and I thought the round would look really cute. So these were a pound. I'm wearing it at the moment. If I remember I'll do like a close up. But yes. Then I got these which are the square letto shape but they're basically just coffin shape which is my favourite type of nail shape. And these are in pink candy. They're just a really pastel baby pink they're matte and that's basically my go-to what whenever I do my acrylics I really like painting them this colour so I thought these would be perfect when I go back to uni. These are a pound as well. Got uh, a pair from their Instagirl range and this was £1.50 and I love these. So these ones are named Insta Queen and they are half like light grey and half marble which I just love and I think these are going to look really nice because they look like they're really really well made so they're going to look like really professional on the nail so I love those they're my favourite. And I got a set of the £1 pointed marble stone they're just plain white marble and i got another one of the instagram range these were two pounds i don't even remember picking these up uh these are the unicorn dream ones and they're just really pale glittery pink and finally i just got a set of the two pack of the false nail glue for 60p because you can never have too much of this stuff this is great just to chuck in your bag if you wear these press on nails for any emergencies like them popping off in a lecture or something so yes that is everything i have to show you in my big old primark haul i'm really hoping i haven't forgotten something i feel like i have but yes i hope you guys enjoyed this don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy these videos and also mystery ones that i upload every other sunday and also check out my second channel if you haven't seen it before where i upload twice a week as well monday i do coffee chats where i talk about well recently Recently, I've been talking about a lot of uni stuff so if you are moving into uni then there might be some helpful bits on there for you I just uploaded a what to and what not to take to university so definitely go check that out and also on Fridays over there I upload weekly vlogs like I said so yes I hope you guys enjoy this thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on Sunday for a mystery video bye